A lot of people, when they hear smudging, they think of um, the very sacred uh, spiritual aspect of it in uh, special ceremonies, which does happen. And that can also be translated into daily rituals. I first learned to smudge in 2016. It gives me like a sense of like a cleanse, like I'm cleansing and getting rid, rid of any anything that no longer serves my higher good. Um, I find that it's uh, very therapeutic also. And the smell too really is, it's amazing. In my workplace, we're not allowed to have anything like that can smoke that has that scent um, just because some people think it's too overwhelming and they have a sensitivity to it. When my father wasn't feeling well and or when my brother wasn't feeling well and we found ourselves in the hospital slots um, and staying in hotel rooms, we started realizing that you can't burn smudge. And so using my sort of hobby of essential oils and my understanding and the teachings that the elders have shared with me on our plant use, I started to develop um, some sprays that we could use um, when we can't burn a smudge. Sort of like an inner struggle of mine um, is that when you're taught um, about traditional uh, herbs and how to use them and what to use them for, as part of those teachings, you understand that you, you shouldn't um, sell those and, and make money, like make a living off of those, that those are gifts that are supposed to be shared freely with everybody. I just sort of kept them like a hobby um, because I was really wrestling with that. I know um, in the past, like, you know, these things had to be given, but it's not just totally given. You do need to pay that person something. And it's, it's usually tobacco or whatever you have on hand at the time. My elders started saying, um, there's, you know, it's enough of non-Dene um, learning some of our practices and then turning around and, and making profit for it. Um, we want you to uh, start your business. Okay, so we're headed over across the river to the old treatment center on Kepla Dechi First Nation uh, to um, deliver uh, an order of a hundred all spruced up Denny Roots smokeless smudge sprays. Pretty excited. It's my largest order to date. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. I guess I'm just uh, still kind of in awe that uh, my um, hobby turned into a dream, which is turning into a reality. And um, I'm really excited about where that's going to go and what kind of impact it's going to have um, for my family and my community and my region. And uh, it's time because uh, as Indigenous people across Canada, um, we need to share, we need to educate, we need to promote, we need to assert um, our teachings and our understandings of how things are so that um, things calm down and things get rebalanced and people reconnect and um, we get healthier.